Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video. And this video I'm going to start with something very different that I don't usually do. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is uh, critics as well as journalism to really give people a perception of what they view before consuming products, right? Whether it's entertainment, whether it's just films, movies, TV shows, or video games. Now, naturally, a lot of people will always... Um, go to uh, critics and journalists to give an idea and picture of pieces of entertainment before they make a purchase. I think for the vast majority of people, that's what they always do because they want to kind of know where their money is being spent and they could trust people, you know, who do these things as their job to try and give them something to understand what they're paying for. That's a very much a common thread a lot of the times. Now, for me, I'm a little bit different. I don't typically always go for critics and reviews and all those sort of things to try and judge my perception i used to in the past but not anymore i'm always kind of more curious to give my own force of it before you know looking at the wider picture of what people would think of something so and what made me want to do this video is because i came out of a film i watched two films today but i'm going to talk about one of them first and then another later but i came out watching civil war and a lot of the reviews for this movie that the critics have been giving it are giving it such high praise positive reviews. And let me tell you this, I came out of the cinema watching this movie and it's nowhere near a positive film at all. In fact, it's really far beyond the ratings that they give it. Like if you look at Rotten Tomatoes, they're giving this movie from the critics perspective an 84% and the audience score is an 86%. And I don't even know how on earth is even that high. Now, when I was scrolling through the reviews, there's lots of some negative reviews as well and i don't understand how it's even that high to begin with like coming out of this movie it was hard to watch like it was really um there's a lot of problems with this movie that i'm gonna dissect later but it just shows that even with a lot of journalism and critics out there you can't really trust them all the time to do their job or review products properly before actually being you know thinking about what you think about it for yourself because I watch a lot of films and certainly this movie is nowhere near a great film or even a good film for that matter. Now I know all this is probably just going to be my opinion maybe people coming out would have actually enjoyed this film but I'm gonna kind of you know give my points of this film when I came out of the cinema. So I'm gonna start by talking about the film itself. I actually think the movie itself like its story and its narrative actually had some real weight to actually make it work. So the movie is pretty much set in a dystopian times where the US is going under tyrannical leadership with its president and pretty much just America is very divided. And they have a photojournalist called Lee Smith who is played by Kirsten Dunst, the woman who is in played MJ in Spider-Man trilogies. She's pretty much just a journalist, you know, trying to take photos and stuff of the whole impact of the uh, the civil war essentially. She pretty much comes across with a lot of other characters. There's also another journalist called Jesse as well, who she pretty much follows her around. And just a lot of other guys that come into the picture as well. And practically throughout this whole film, they pretty much drive throughout the whole time trying to get from where they are in New York to Washington. And they come across like various uh, different uh, scenarios that happen. Now, I think the whole idea does have things to work but unfortunately the way it's executed and its moments just don't work now the first point i want to mention is this the acting in this movie is really not good at all it's probably some of the most asinine uncharacteristic you know unenthusiastic acting i have seen i swear to god if you put planks of wood throughout all these actors right now but as, they would have probably done the same job like you might as well have just like cut the planks wood and make them like stickmen in this film because they really have no personality or any development at all to really build this movie up in any sense whatsoever everything is just lackluster from that from the acting perspective but also it's like the audio as well is terrible i mean the, the only good audio parts of this film is really just the gunshots and just some missiles being used but I swear to God, there's like some noises in the background of some scenes and it's horrible. Like, there would just be like audios of literally you could hear the speakers being just completely, um, you know, overly clipped. And uh, they're just getting, you know, 
too, there's like a sound of a subwoofer, like you're going boom, like in the background just how loud the low end is. And it's horrible to listen through. But also the acting is terrible as well. There's like one scene in particular where they go into a shop and they meet a shopkeeper and they have like some very basic dialogues that happen. Like it's just, nothing ever develops in this film at all. And just a lot of things don't really, you know, make sense of like who's fighting who. The only real thing you know is like one of the groups that they find is like just some Western forces that they try to get into Washington and storm the White House. I'm kind of spoiling a bit, but it's really, it's really the only way I could really convey these points. But that's like the only real moment in that film that really builds up. But um, unfortunately, the rest of it, just nothing really develops or explains anything for whatever reason why things happen. And I also feel like as an action film, there's hardly any action. It's just a very um, asinine, boring film to watch, from my opinion. So, if I had to rate this movie, I'm kind of giving this like a pseudo review. I'm probably going to have to give this movie a 4 out of 10. I just didn't have a good time watching it. It's not like horrible trash that's pretty much just an abominable mess. But I I really can't even... I don't have much praise for this film at all. So, that's pretty much really it. Now, the last film I want to talk about, which I also saw in the cinema, was Back to Black. Now, Back to Black is an Amy Winehouse biopic. It pretty much just goes about her her life and her career. And it hasn't actually got a full release yet. I think it's only got a UK release at this time. I think the US get this release next month, so they would be able to view it. At the moment, there's no audience reception as of, as of right now of the making of this video, but there has been journalists who have reviewed this film already. So what I want to look in particular is The Guardian. So The Guardian, I mentioned this movie as a way Amy Winehouse biopic was buoyed by extraordinary lead performance, which I personally think is true. Like, certainly um, Marissa Abella, I think that's her name. She definitely um, takes the performance really, really well in this movie, and she could definitely um, do the job really well. But then what I find very um, odd with some of the reviews, especially like from The Guardian, is that a recent article that they had after this uh, review came out is that they suggested that the movie was a grotesque insult for Back to Black, which is a bit weird. So their, their review earlier on was saying it was a was a good film, but gave it four out of five stars. But then they said, oh, it's actually a grotesque insult. You know, you can't, it seems like a little bit of a double standard there. And also the standard of giving their, their review of this movie and they kind of said the biopic was so bad, it made me gasp in horror. <sighs> I'll tell you, that last one was definitely a blunt response saying it made me gasp in horror. Now, I will say I don't think the film is horrific under any stretch of the imagination. Although, I will say I don't think it was really that great. I think I think this is a very, um, a very mediocre uh, biopic. Now, my only real points with this film, which I'm going to kind of give like my pseudo review of it, is my only real issue is that I don't really think this movie is a musical inspirational film. I don't think they really um, valued or really showed the production value of the Back to Black album of actually happening. I know some parts of it was mostly just based on um, Amy's experience with uh, alcohol addiction and also her previous partners as well certainly when she got married to Blake and the relationship of that all happening as well but realistically it just doesn't really um you know combine all the aspects together to actually give it the true picture in some in some ways now like I said I do think the acting is really good certainly Marissa Abella's uh, performance as Amy Winehouse is actually really good and she, she definitely can sing in this movie. So there is a lot of praise I can give with this film, like from this acting perspective. Um, and also kind of giving like some of the uh, the aspects of her, her, her personal life and upbringing as well. But I really do think the movie does miss the mark. And I think it is a pretty detrimental mark of actually not selling the her music career. I think that was really um, the real detractor for me, for sure. Um, I think it's a fine movie. I, I don't think you, you'll come out of it actually really enjoying this film and actually telling people to recommend to watch it. I think for a lot of people, if you watch it, you'll be like, yeah, I, I watched it. It was fine. Um, 
you know you got you got to see it for yourself or probably just wait until it comes on to like streaming platforms so really overall if i had to rate back to black i'm probably going to give this movie a six out of ten now i would have probably have given it a five from initial impressions after coming out but i do actually think on reflection there was actually elements of this movie that was slightly a better or above average so that's pretty much like giving uh, back to black kind of my thoughts of this film but one of the main uh, points i want to kind of bring from this video is this you can't naturally always trust um, journalists or critics to really do the job for you to view products i always think go with, with these products with an open mind and really formulate your own uh, thoughts as well i think it's really important to really have that sort of um, mindset to when approaching these things because realistically if you're just falling for critics all the time that always just say one thing to another or they just immediately just say oh yeah yeah everything is great but then you walk out and it's, it's pretty much a pile of shit then really it's, it's on you essentially you can't really blame anyone else for that so all i'll say is just kind of have your your takes and naturally you always have your own opinions on these things now everyone's going to have a different opinion to mine when it comes to watching these films and that's absolutely fine. So if any of you guys have watched any of these films, let me know what you guys think of it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you want to dislike. And thank you for watching. And yeah, see you later.